Today I made a geo topper for a cake that I made for my mom. This geo topper turned out so adorable and I'm going to take you through how I made it. This topper is mostly made of rock candies and some isomalt and colored with some petal dust mixed with some extract. There's actually not much to it at all. I started with a bag of white rock candies that I got from Amazon. You can absolutely use actual rock candy and just break them into smaller pieces, but this was easier. I'll add the link of what I bought in the description below. I initially started with the white rock candy and put in some colored petal dust to make them colored. I used some bright purple and some light pink along with some fuchsia edible sparkles and pearl edible sparkles and mixed it all together. I made a darker purple version and then another batch of lighter pinkish purple. I later learned how to do it more effectively which I'll show you in a minute. To make the base, I used some isomalt nibs that I got pre-packaged from Cake Play in clear. You just pour them into a silicone cup and melt it down. I only put it in the microwave for 20 seconds at a time until it's melted. Once it's all melted, wait for it to stop bubbling. Make sure to use a silicone cookie mat underneath before you start. I used two heart-shaped plastic cookie cutters that I got from the dollar store. I wasn't sure if the isomalt would melt these, but it worked out perfectly. I also used a metal circle cookie cutter for the base. You can use whatever shapes you'd like for this. I put the small heart cutter in the middle of my bigger cutter. I then filled in the space between the two cutters with melted isomalt. Be careful not to touch this with your bare hands, it's really hot. I used some gloves here for protection. I then started filling in the middle of the isomalt with rocks, using the white for the outside going darker towards the inside. I then filled in the middle of the heart without any isomalt with purple rocks. I think I left the isomalt to dry for a little bit too long here because it started to dry really quickly. But leave it until it's cool enough to touch, but not too cold that it's completely hardened. I first removed the middle of the heart. This part can get really sticky and really gross looking. The isomalt will go everywhere and be really stringy, but it's okay, you just have to work really quickly. Once removed, I quickly tried to reform the shape back into a heart for the center. I removed my gloves to make this a bit easier. Once cooled, I also removed the top heart and made sure that the heart was still in the correct shape. Here you can tell the heart is missing a lot of rock candies because they fell out. So I remelted some isomalt and put more rock candies directly on top and started filling in all the holes. Now currently this heart is completely smooth from the sides, so I melted some isomalt and dipped the sides of the heart right into it and then quickly dipped it into some rock candies, giving the edges a bit of a jagged shape all the way around the heart. Remember this is a geode, so you don't want it to look completely straight and perfect or else it won't have that realistic feel, even though the real version aren't hearts. I know, you know what I mean. Let that cool again until it's completely hardened. I then felt like the rocks weren't bright enough. So to make them even brighter, I added some lemon extract, like I do when I make petal dust paints, and that worked out perfectly. Just put in some lemon extract and keep mixing until you get the correct color. They turn bright purple and pink and more shiny like a geode. I use these for the actual cake pieces. But since I had already done a big portion of the topper, I added some lemon extract to the dust and began painting my geode darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. I even added edible sparkles in fuchsia and electric pink to make it shine even more.
But then, of course, I still wasn't happy with the amount of rocks on it. So I ran all the way to the cake store to get more isomalt, and they only had the pearl version instead of clear. But it's okay because it'll be painted anyway. So I got that, came home, and added more melted isomalt and more rocks to my topper. Then I painted again and added even more sparkles. In hindsight, next time, I just make the entire thing in white and paint it all later in whatever colors you want. Always something learned. To add the heart to my circle base, I just use some melted isomalt and hold it there for about five minutes in whatever position you wanted it to stay in. I chose to hold it a little bit more diagonally. Once dried, I mixed some gold dust with some lemon extract and painted the outsides of the heart along with the base. This added the perfect touch to the heart. This heart was the perfect addition to my geode cake and my mom absolutely loved it. I wanted her to save it for a keepsake, but as soon as she cut it, the cake was moved and the heart fell and shattered into pieces. Ugh, I guess I'll just have to make her another one. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions on what I should make for a future video, please let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.